Fantasy.com presents Blunderbusters. Many checkers as possible without getting hit. That's a good shot. Perfect shot. Yeah, it even stacks up on the four point and prolongs the crunch. Sep doesn't mind uh, fanning. Oh, I think actually, you know what? I think this is going to be a trap play from Sep. He should make the trap play here. He should go for the trap play. Yes, there's a, my dog is barking in the garden. <laughs> That's true. Wilkinson should start to set up the trap play here. Come out with a six. No, no, no. Don't move that one. Don't move that one. You, you, you want to keep it as far back as possible. You want to set up the trap play when you to open up the seven point or the eight point to trap your opponent off the anchor so you can win the gammon. It, it, I think it's really important now. He, okay, he does find the trap play here. Good play. Could he have played it more aggressively even? Okay, this time wasn't it? What was the right idea? Ah, yeah. Difficult. The, the trap play lost some value since he, he moved the back checker too far advanced. And uh, ideally, it's the seven point you want to give up for the trap play. It's not the eight point. Um, five, one. Mm hmm. Obviously, the five goes from five to two. It's a really big mistake to move the back checker, of course. You could move it the ace because you don't have any other good aces. And it even get, allows you to get hit with, with five, six. Okay, this is interesting. What if he gets like a five, two, four, three? Uh -huh. Of course, you just need to keep that back checker as far back as possible. You want to pick up that second blood when you trap your opponent off the anchor. So what's the right play here? Aha, uh -huh. the computer says, yes, you can't really make any trap plays here, so you just build up your home board. Good move. Aha. Uh -huh. Kasugi is lucky. Oh, what about this one? This would be the perfect trap play. He sees it. Beautiful play, Wilkinson. Beautiful play. That's backgammon for you guys. That's really, really good. Well played, Wilkinson. He did see the trap play. Oh, what about this one? Ah, that's annoying. How do you play this one? How do you play this one? I guess maybe you 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 switch from nine to eight, just to use two of the aces. Yeah, I, yeah, something like this. I agree. I think it's probably the right idea. Uh, nope, he gets an error. Aye, and there is the five that he would have liked him to crunch with. What was the idea then? I hope the, the transcriber in Japan goes back. Maybe you should just stay back on the nine point and just stack up some checkers. No, 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 split, split. Oi, blunder. He missed it. He missed the trap play. There it was. Aye, that was the beautiful trap play that he missed. Damn it. He missed it and the transcriber made a mistake. The transcriber made a mistake. Yeah, it goes back. Ay, what a beautiful play that would have been. Did you see it, guys? If he just played the ace from eight to seven, leaving a double shot to trap your opponent off the anger, and then you could hit, collect both checkers and go for the closeout. Wow, he d what happened? Wow, the trap play worked. The trap play worked. He got lucky there, Sepp. He got lucky there. The trap play worked, but uh, it wasn't because of Sepp's move. He missed out on the most beautiful trap play. It's one of the most beautiful trap plays I've seen in a long time. Let's review it after the match is over. I'm going to pull up the position and, uh, and we can review it. So here we have it. This is the position in Extreme Gammon. This was the trap play that uh, I was shouting for in the live commentary. As we see here, uh, he had this beautiful move available, Wilkinson, to split his eight point and leave two blots. It will look like this if I click on the final. Oh, sorry. Like this. This would be the best play. And that's just a clear example of the trap play. You really want to win the gammon and your opponent has not just a 
crunched home board, but a fully crunched home board. So you, want, you can play completely aggressive and bold with the trap play. And uh, furthermore, uh, oh, one moment, let me just show you here the equities of the move. Let me zoom in. Yeah, so there you have it. You uh, win 6% more gammons with the trap play uh, at the cost of 1.7% game winning chances. And the funny thing was that he actually had a similar decision on his previous uh, move. So let's scroll back one turn for Wilkinson. And here he had a double aces to play where it was the exact same concept as we see here when we zoom in. The, it was a big blunder as well to not make the trap play. The best play looked like this. Again, this, here it's even more clear since your opponent has a uh, blood in his home board as well. So there you go. This was a very, a very cool lesson about the trap play. And especially when you, win, when you wanna win a gammon, then you wanna try to trap your opponent off that anger. And what you really fear in this position is actually the opponent's race. Let's, let's zoom in up here. The race, you're down 24 pips before the move, even though, of course, there's a lot of wastage here, so the race is probably quite even. But that's what you really, that's, that's what your fear, your fear is. Like, your fear that he rolls a double fives that just runs all the way with both checkers. Uh, that's much more scary than breaking an anger and getting hit. Blunderbusters. BackgammonGalaxy.com. Play among the stars. Available on browser, tablet, and smartphone. Subscribe to see more Backgammon videos. Tell us which Backgammon videos you want to see.